Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how you can add your own buttons and links on specific areas of your screens using Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich internet applications. I already have an application open that we've been building in this video series. It's a simple order management system that allows us to work with customers and their orders. So let's create a new order screen from scratch, but this time we'll add some functionality to it, the screen to allow users to enter new products if they need to. And we'll do this by adding a button to the screen. So let's add a screen. I'm going to select details and let's select the order header. And we're going to use this as the default detail screen. And um, I'm also going to select the order details case okay, to display. Okay. So let's go ahead and just hit F5 to run this and see what we have. Okay, so here's our customer search screen that we created a while back, and I'm gonna just open up our customer screen, and you'll see that there's some order headers listed down here. Now, when we click on that, this is the screen that we just created. This is now the new default edit screen. So what I want to do here is I want to allow the user to enter a product into this list if they don't see one, if they don't see the right one that they want. Okay, and you of course could add buttons across the top here in the screen command bar, which we've done before, but it's better to sometimes um, put these buttons or links near areas on the screen to show better context. Okay, so what would be nice is just to add maybe down here at the bottom the details um, of this of the row that there's being edited, and then we can can go ahead and add a button to it. All right, so I'm going to design this screen. And here's where the screen command bar comes into play. So we have a save and refresh at the top. But you also notice that a lot of other layout items in LightSwitch have command bars. For instance, here's the columns layout. You'll notice if I put a new button in here, you'll get there's the button over here on the right hand side, okay, below the columns layout. Okay, so you can do this sort of thing. Um, with many different controls. Okay, so look at here's the um, here's the autocomplete box. It also has a command bar. Okay, if you want to put um, buttons inside of the drop downs themselves. Okay, so this is a customer. Okay, um, drop down, and you'll see there's the method button that we just added right there. Okay, I'm going to remove that because what I really want to do is I'm going to go down here to this rows layout at the bottom, and I'm going to add the selected item so that you now have the editing controls here in, the, in instead of in the grid down below the grid for the selected item. And I'm just going to remove the order header since we already belong to an order header. This is the order header. Okay, so let's just move the product up a bit. And what I'm going to do is add here, okay, a new method, all right, a new button. And we're going to name it, add a new product. Oops. Okay, so here's where the button appears, right below the product. Okay, so if the user needs doesn't see what they have, they can add a new one. All right. Now the now the way we would change this to a link instead is right here under control type, you can just change it to a link. So now it's just a, uh, it looks like a hyperlink, okay? But it really still is a command. All right, so now we're gonna need to write some code in order to open up the product screen. So let's just go ahead and do that now. So let's click save. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and close the application to get back to our screen designer. Okay, so first let's go ahead and uh, rename the method here that we added. So we'll call it add product. Okay, and we'll need to edit the execute code. So uh, when, when we click on the link or click a button, we, it runs this command and we need to know what the command does. You can also edit the can execute code and this would mean returning a true or false to uh, determine whether or not the button should be enabled or disabled. All right, so let's go ahead and just do the execute code here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a new product screen, except that I don't have a new product screen yet. So let's go ahead and add that. So let's add a new screen. And I'm going to call a new data screen, select product, and we'll just do the product details on that screen. Okay, so there's our screen. Now we can go back to our code and we can go ahead and show that screen. So you say me.application.showCreateNewProduct. Okay, so 
Light Switch will automatically create an edit screen after um, you save a new screen. So I want to let's run this and see how this works. Okay, and we're going to want actually going to want to make a tweak to this show create new product screen uh, because of the way that Light Switch automatically displays the edit screen afterwards. So let's go ahead and, and hit F5 to run this and see what we have so far. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our order screen here. Okay, and so let's say we don't find the product that we want in here. So let's add a new product. Here's the new product screen, and we'll just add a new corn here. And you'll notice here is this edit screen that Light Switch automatically displays for us. Okay, so we don't actually want that. We want this to actually just close. You'll see that, but we can go and refresh our list, and now you'll see there's the corn. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make that last fix so that we don't, we can optionally display the edit screen from the new product screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open up the uh, create new product screen and I'm going to add a local property. We won't make it required. It's going to be a Boolean. It's going to be just a true false. Should open edit screen. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and check that. We're going to go write code, drop that down, and go into the saved method. We're just going to, this is the code that Light Switch automatically generates for us. And we're just going to go and say if should open edit screen, then go ahead and show the default screen. Okay? And now we can just go back over to our show new product. Okay? And we're just going to say, oh, that it's a parameter. We need to add the parameter. Okay, go back over to our should open edit, and you'll notice there's the parameter right there in the properties. Okay, don't forget that. Okay, so now we go back over here, and now we can specify that parameter. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and hit F5 and run this one more time, and now we should get the functionality that we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the screen up again. Okay, and this time I'll click on add new product. Put some cherries in there. Now when we press save, you'll notice, there we go, we're right back where we were, and now I can go in and see there's cherries. Okay, so that's how you can use buttons and links in specific areas um, on the layouts of your screens in order to associate commands with specific items on the screen. Okay, so thanks for watching. <laughs>